Can you kind of tell me what you guys came in today, what was your plan, and what worked? Well, the truth is, we didn't know, you know, we, this is the first big tournament, I think, that we've been in as a, as a group here at Homestead, so we, we didn't know what to expect. We knew that there was going to be some pool play followed by tournament play, and honestly, we, we began the day a little poorly in the... Uh, Ended up 0-2, started off and won a third game, and then we got into the tournament play and we won five in a row. And uh, our kids got better. I think they got more confident, and uh, we want to see improvement. And that's that's exactly what we saw from this group, which was which is great. You said that you weren't as happy with uh, the what, the game plan that you worked on and what they actually did on the field. What was that that you prepared for? Well, you know, it's just our, our offense. We we tried to install that stuff early, and the good thing is that we've got a young, lot of young kids getting some valuable reps out here, and. Uh, Working on timing and, and covering routes and all the basics of the pass game, which is good for us. So that's the, that was the, the idea coming in, trying to get better at our thing. Okay. All right. Um, I talked to Isaac about uh, about his decision he recently made. How excited yeah. are you for him on that? Oh, it's a great opportunity. You know, whenever uh, it, it, to get a Division One scholarship offer is a rarity. It honestly is. And in, in the state of Indiana, you know, I think last year's class there were 40 some. So it's very rare out of a, a lot of athletes. So. Uh, it's an honor. It's a it's an it's a uh, tribute to, to Isaac and how hard he's worked to get where he's at, and um, we're excited for him to to go into the Big Ten and see if he can make a difference.